Isn't that one beautiful tree? That's an ash tree, and it's making neighborhoods like this one on the Western Prom beautiful. But it's under attack. Chris Plant from Davy Tree is with us. You're on the front lines of this battle with something called the emerald ash borer. What is it, and what is it doing to our trees? It's an invasive insect that's killing our trees. This all started in Michigan in 2002. Okay. And we've seen the ash borer population move east. We're seeing total decimation of the ash population. What did it do in Michigan? It killed the majority of ash trees. The majority of them. And now that it's moving east, when, when did it start to, to get into the state of Maine? We first saw it in 2018. And immediately attacked the trees. So you're at the point now where you're in preventative mode, basically? That's what we can do. We want to prevent the infestation on healthy ash trees. That's what we're looking for, Chris? That little tiny hole? That's the entry hole for the beetle. It's very small. Really small. So it just bores its way through the bark and then does what? Uh, it lays its eggs and its larval stage creates galleries on the outer tissue and restricts the vascular system. So it just kind of like eats away in there? Is it, is it feeding off of this tree? It's feeding on that outer tissue. Oh, that's no good. So you have two examples here of the ash borer and kind of what it looks like. This is bark, right? And what are these crazy little tracks in there? These are the S galleries of the larval stage of the insect. Uh, this is the outer bark of the tree huh? and you're seeing the galleries of the insect. Now over here, this is the outer tissue that they're feeding on. Okay. And which is, that outer tissue is part of its vascular system and that's why it's killing the trees. So the vascular system in a tree is, is, is its lifeline, basically, and if it gets destroyed, then that tree, that tree's a goner, would you say the tree's gonna die? Yeah, the trees will die. We were here a couple days ago to treat this ash tree for emerald ash borer. As you can see here, yeah. this is one of the injection sites on the tree, mm -hmm. and there are multiple ones around the base here. Uh, what we do is we take a measurement, a, a DBH, and that helps us calculate how much of the insecticide we need to inject around the base of the tree. And then what that insecticide does is it pulls up into the vascular system for when the ash borer is active and present, they'll, they'll eat it, it'll kill the active ones, it'll also deter the mature ones. Oh, interesting. So it'll actually get in there and start to do destruction, but the, the medicine that you're giving this tree will, will, will prevent it from doing further damage. Correct, and you actually need to have leaves on the tree for it to work. You just can't do this oh. any time of the year. Okay. Because uh, you need photosynthesis for it to pull up into the system. I see, I see. Um, let me ask you a question. Are, are, are you hopeful for the ash population, which is native to the state of Maine? Are you hopeful for, this, for, this, for these trees? I'm very hopeful for the trees that we're doing preventative measures for, especially ones that are healthy. Uh, it's, it's the general population of trees that I'm not so helpful. Hopefully. So without these injections, it's probably going to be a goner. More than likely. That's incredible. Well, folks, um, it's attacking the ash tree. It's the emerald ash borer. And if you have one in your yard, um, this is an interesting point. It actually is probably less expensive to treat it than to act, take it down. Is that correct? The majority of cases, it's much cheaper to take care of the tree than to remove it. <laughs> Uh, and also, it only needs to be done every two years. Okay. All right. So there you go. Emerald Ash Borer, it's being attacked. Help save it and help save the trees in the state of Maine. We'll see you next time on Gardening with Gutner.